fish smart and welcome back to Spartan Tackle Fishing. You guys, we got a special episode. This is the nighttime fishing episode. Do your boy a favor, like this video. Watch this video. I have a bet going with Raynell with fishing trips. He's saying this video is gonna tank. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna work really hard as you can see on this night footage. Now, what we're gonna do is basically a how-to. So one, there's so many bugs right now, this is crazy. So a couple things I wanna point out when you're doing nighttime shark fishing. Now, number one, you're gonna wanna survey your area before you get there at night, just to make sure there's no structure in the water. Now we were already here, so we know that we're safe to start kayaking at night. Now the second thing is, definitely bring a whole bunch of bug spray because there's bugs all over the place. Now you guys, if you don't think we're putting a lot of effort, Go ahead and check out this whole scene, Julian. Go ahead and pan out and show them what we got going on right now. You see this? This is a production production. Okay guys, uh, we're gonna hook up the bait right now, but before I do that, I wanna go over a kayaking strategy, especially at night. Now, we're always gonna kayak the first line into the current, and then we're gonna stack lines from there. So I'm gonna kinda give you guys a demonstration. So basically, What's going on is the current is going this way. Okay, so the current's going this way. Okay, so the current's going this way. We're gonna kayak into the current, right? One line here, one line here, one line here. Okay, so we're gonna kayak three lines all into the current. Now, let me show you what bait we're using. We have fresh Southern Ray we actually caught today. We did an earlier episode today. So I'm gonna hook that for you guys right now. It's on the Morocco leader. This is the Morocco and I also have the texture. So I'm just gonna find an area that's meaty and go right through that. Okay, like that. I'm gonna make sure it's not double backing on itself, okay? Looks like it's good bait. All right, now the other one, same. Now you're gonna wanna hook these. Again, think hook exposure and make sure it doesn't double back on itself. I like to kind of go in the corners, okay? And you don't need to go too deep because the stingray is really strong height. You see how it's not double backing on itself? All right, there we go, guys. So now we're gonna go start uh, on the kayaking right now and hopefully also get a fire here shortly. See you guys soon. All right, guys, come with me. I'm gonna show you how I'm putting my bait on the kayak and then we're about to kayak. Also, the current is coming this way, so we're gonna go into it this way. It was kind of the opposite, let's go. So, as you see, I'm running a fresh piece of Southern Ray and come over here if you can. I have my weight here on the side of the current. So when there's pressure, it's gonna push my kayak this way into the current, it's perfect. All right, here's the thing guys, I'm gonna go out about a 200 yards. You don't have to go too far out, it's nighttime. Whenever it's nighttime, you don't need to go, usually don't need to go as far out. So again, I'm gonna go about 150, 200 yards out, drop my bait and come back home. We'll see you guys later. Trying to get a lot of dough. Anything is possible. Turn me up in the headphone. Yeah. Trying to get a lot of dough and dirt the water obstacles. Cause anything is possible. Yeah. Oh man, I got a lot of gold. Stack that bread and vomit. All right, you guys, I just got back here from kayaking. Wasn't that bad. We're going to go take a look at what Julian's doing right now. He's fixing the kayak. Julian. What you got going on, bro? Oh, I'm just fixing the kayak. We got two <laughs> nice chunks of Southern Ray out. So we're gonna drop this girl first, probably 150, 180. And then okay. we're gonna cut right, probably 15 strokes, bust down about 30 more, 35 more, and knock that guy out of the park. Cause I'm gonna be going with the current on my second drop. I'll go further into the current, so. Okay. We'll see what we can so do. So how far are you gonna uh, run out the 50? With the current, I'm sorry. Not against, nope. with the current. Yeah. I'm gonna drop this one against the current, and then the second one, I'll go with the current, let it take me a little bit, and I'll drop it further to the right. All right, bro, good luck, man. Have fun out there. Well. Woo! Oh man, I got a lot of gold. Stack that bread and bomb my nose. Anything is possible. Hey. 
I grind to get a lot of dough and dirt through all the obstacles, cause anything is possible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I got a lot of gold. Stack that bread and vomit knows anything is possible. Well, hello there. So just trying to get this fire going here so we get a little bit of warmth and also hopefully some good uh, shots. The problem is with this location, uh, the rope is burning and getting hot and I'm breathing in fumes. But we just need it to light. It looks like it's going up finally. Once that rope catches, we should be good to go. I grind to get a lot of dough and dirt do all the obstacles cause anything is possible. Yeah. Yeah. All right guys, now we're gonna do uh, glow sticks right now. The importance of glow sticks is so you know which line is going off and then also if you get any cutoffs, this will fall, okay? Now these ones are special, it has a clip right there. So that's just gonna clip right on the line. Now you can also use rubber bands and things like that, all right? But we're using these special ones right here. Now what we're gonna do also is I'm gonna tighten the drag with the reel partially up. So if it gets hit and slacks up, this will also fall down. Let's do this next one here. So I'm just going down the line doing glow sticks. Okay, don't fall. Now, like I said, we've had two rods get hit. But glow sticks are pretty important so you know at all times what line is doing what. Okay. There's Donnie. Donnie just got here. Let's see if you got any flounder. Now this one just got hit, like I said. All right, now we have all three with go uh, glow sticks. You guys sit tight. And hopefully we come with some some sharks here coming up. See you guys. I'm the cool kid from the back I'm the one calling all the shots, shots, shots. How you doing, bro? Doing good, baby, doing good. We hooked up, huh? We're gonna teach them. <clears throat> We're gonna teach them? We're gonna teach them how we do it here. Yeah, Houston. boys. Yeah. Finally got them, man. Good job, bro. All right, you see, hooking it now. You get it out? You need me to do it? Got it? Good job, bro. All right, we'll get that back in the water. I'm the one calling all the shots, shots, shots. Whether you're ready or not. Yeah. I'm about to pump this place up, up, up. I'm the cool kid from the park. I'm the one calling all the shots, shots, shots. Whether you're ready or not. Yeah. Hey, so that's how we do it. That was a stud black tip. They're running really thick through here. Got that on the Southern Ray, a nice little plate, small plate size uh, chunk of that. All right. And so, ran it like magic. So what are we gonna do next, man? We're gonna run another bait out. Next, we're gonna run some more bait out. We're gonna try and catch some more fish, obviously. What about that crab? We're gonna catch some uh, crab, eat some dinner. Here in a minute, we're gonna check on that crab Ooh. trap, see what's going on. Night with it. fishing one got some food. Woo, let's do it. All right, you guys, it's my turn to go eat some crab, but before I do, y'all please watch this video more than once, maybe share it, hit like on this. I gotta prove to right now that a night videoing is okay, it will work. But that was super hard, I hope you guys liked that. We only caught one shark. I gotta go eat that crab, like I said before, Julian does, and it's not overcooked. But thank you guys for sticking with us. Um, go to our website, go to SpartanTackle.com, check out our leaders. As always, you guys, thank you. It's super late right now. We went as long as we could. We may get another surprise shark, but either way, it's over, you guys. Till next time. See you later.